good day viewers at home especially the students preparing for the forthcoming examinations my name is mr idowu olajide taufik i will be your english language teacher on this program i will teach you how you can understand clauses and phrases let me start with clauses for you to understand your clauses i will divide it into three different sections the three sections are a definition of a clause b types of clauses and c functions of clauses these three sections we serve as our objectives for today's lesson therefore let me start with clauses let me define what a clause is a clause can be defined as a group of words with a finite verb please take note with a finite verb it means that every clause must have a finite verb what do you call a finite verb? It's a verb which can change its tense. A finite verb can either be a present tense, a past tense, or a past participle verb. What is a main clause? It can be defined as a clause that can stand on its own and make a complete sense. For example, before I could recover from the shock, he took out some currency notes he took out some currency notes is a main clause subordinate clause it cannot stand on its own it depends on main clause for its meaning for example i saw the man who stole the missing ring who stole the missing ring is an example of a subordinate clause let me now at the junction give you good examples of clauses one everybody was impressed with the feats which went along with the larios drumming as he dragged it to the surface we screamed in sudden terror we discovered that these objects had opposite equal sides he stopped shouting only when he got into the bus that brought his group and lastly what made that choose me had never found out all these examples are clauses in the first one the clause there is which went along with the larios drumming secondly as it dragged it to the surface totally that these objects had opposite equal sides fourthly that brought this group and lastly what made that choose me all these are clauses because they have verbs such as went drag had brought and choose in their various expressions let us go to the second segment which is types of subordinate clauses or types of clauses there are so many types of subordinate clauses but i'm going to take you through only three aspects because in various examination questions are often asked on these three aspects the three aspects we are going to teach today are noun clause, adjectival clause, orative clause, area clause. Now let's start with noun clause. The noun clause is an expression which has its subject as either a noun or a pronoun. And a noun clause can be introduced by the various operational ways, such as how, however, why what that it is for example we discover that these objects had opposite equal sides what made that choose me had never found out what we explain daily are the biggest consequence of unemployment and others these are examples of noun clauses and you realize that all of them have their operational words now we'll continue with the program and then so that we can understand very well what we want to teach 
Thank you very much. Saints, you are welcome to the second segment of this lesson. In the previous lesson, I was able to define various words written to clauses. This time around, I want us to go for adjective verb or relative clause. This clause can be defined as a group of words which qualifies a noun or a pronoun. It is a clause which gives additional information about a noun or a pronoun. Please note the following operational words. Who, whose, that, which, whom. These words are used to introduce adjective or relative clauses. For example, he clung to a classmate who had longed to work in the city. Who had longed to work in the city is an adjective clause. Everybody was impressed with the fits which went along with the Larry's drumming. Which went along with the Larry's drumming is an adjective clause. He stopped shouting only when he got into the bus that brought his crew. That brought soup is an adjective clause. All these examples have operational words such as which, that, who, and so on. Adverbia clause. Adverbia clause can be defined as group of words which modifies verb, adjectives, and another adverb. Now, we have various types of adverbia clauses. But for the purpose of examination, I will teach you five basic types of adverbia clauses. These are adverbia clause of time, adverbia clause of place, adverbia clause of condition, adverbia clause of reason, adverbia clause of man manner. Let us start with adverbia clause of time. This clause indicates the time of an action. It answers the question when. The operational words are when, while, as soon as, before, after, whenever, etc. For example, as he dragged it to the surface, we scream in sudden terror. As he dragged it into the surface, is an adverbial clause. While I was watching a nano clause television network program, I saw David being interviewed by a team of reporters. While I was watching a nano clause television network program, is an adverbial clause of time. Also, when he saw me, a wave of fright swept through him. When he saw me, is an example of adverbia clause of time. Adverbia clause of place. It indicates the location of an action. The operational words are where, wherever, everywhere. For example, he kept the book where his brother could not see it. Where brother could not see it is an example of adverbia clause of place. Adverbia clause of condition. It indicates that a particular action will be determined by another in a sentence. Original words are if, unless, provided that in case of etc. For example, if road accident results in fire, then this can be disastrous. If road accident results in fire, as an example of adverbial clause. Two, unless you turn a new leaf, I will not allow you to visit me. The next one is adverbial clause of reason. The operational words are because, in as much as. For example, I was often teased because I was small. Because I was small is an example of adverbial clause. Adverbial clause of manner. It indicates how an action was or will be performed. The operational words are as if, as though. For example, he treated us as if we were all slaves. As if we were all slaves is an example of adverbial clause. Now, at this junction, we are going to pause a bit, and when I come back, I'm going to teach you how to understand your grammatical names and uh, function. At this particular situation, we have to go into how to identify your grammatical names and how to determine the various functions of these grammatical names. Thank you.
students at home you are welcome to the last part of classes in this particular aspect i will teach you how to identify the grammatical names of the various clauses and their grammatical functions now let me start with the grammatical names and functions of noun clauses a noun clause has various functions at least about six functions are inside a noun clause but for the purpose of examination i will teach you only two basic functions of noun clauses the two functions are subject of the verb and object of the verb what we call subject of the verb this indicates that the clause assumes a subject position for instance what we experience daily are the vicious consequences of unemployment this is wask june 2010 what we experience daily is an example of noun clause now its grammatical name will be noun clause the function subject of the verb are now let's go for object of the verb it indicates that the clause functions as an object in the sentence for example we discovered that these objects had opposite equal sides the grammatical name is noun clause the function is object of the verb discovered now let's go for adjectival or relative clause which qualifies nouns or pronouns for example everybody was impressed with the feats which went along with the hilarious drumming wask june 2018 which went along with the large drumming is an example of adjectival clause so the grammatical name is adjectival or relative clause function it qualifies the noun fits adverbial clause it modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb for example as soon as the chit chat ended they announced the decision of the ruling council wask june 2012 as soon as the chat ended is an example of adverbial clause therefore the grammatical name is adverbial clause function it modifies the verb announced let's another one in this one we have another example of adverbial clause this one is adverbial clause of place look at this example he parked the car where we are easily where we can easily see it where we can easily see it is an example of adverbial clause so that means the grammatical names adverbial clause function it must be the verb pack now these are the various grammatical names and functions don't forget students under adverbial clauses if you are not sure of the type or types please you are free to mention only adverbial clause as your grammatical name is not compulsory for you to mention the type or the types please students take note of this very important situation because if you have a wrong type you will lose your mark therefore i would advise you use only adverbial clause in your grammatical name don't include the type and also note that grammatical names and functions will make you have three marks the grammatical name is one mark while the function is two marks making three marks thank you for listening that will be the end of our lesson on clauses in the next class i will take you through phrases student at home make sure you study very hard so that you can have good results in your english language thank you very much have a wonderful time mm -hmm.